But the Constitution now, they got authority. And now they the boss, and they sound like the boss. Right? Yeah, this is what you got to do. Here's Article 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then the states said, hey, no, man. And they come up with the Bill of Rights. The first 10 amendments, before they would accept the Constitution, they had to put in, wait a minute, man. You can't do us the same way they did us. You can't quarter troops. You can't take our property without a bill of fare. You know, you can't do all this stuff. I got a right, you know, the same right Peter, Peter Zinger had, the right to speak. So they put that stuff in there. What was the first rebellions they had in America? 1792, the Whiskey Rebellion and Shays Rebellion. That was white folks without property. They're trying to make them pay taxes on stuff. Anyway, we have to visualize the world. And we don't have to limit ourselves in the visualizing the world that we want to live in. We have now the technical ability to reconstruct, to clean up, and to manage and make this earth as beautiful as it was when Allah gave it to us. We can do that now. But there has to be a process of evolution in the meantime. We have to evolve from, I don't know if y'all remember the, uh, the talk on uh, Homo erectus technocratus, that's just, you know, Negro made up name, almost like Kingfish made it up. Homo erectus technocratus means that the human being walks upright. He walks upright. He has technology, technocratus, right? But he's a Neanderthal in everything else he does, right? The, the human being, he might, you might as well just give him a club and he just beat the ones that's got a big club, they're going to beat the ones without it. The human being has not evolved ethically and spiritually from bygone days. We've only evolved technically, right? There's been increase in lifespan and medicine and what have you. But what's that when... So many people are miserable, you know, like miserable. I mean, uh, diseases, itches, uh, psychological problems. And just imagine our environment is causing most of those problems. So the big struggle is you and I, the human being. That we want to, well, let's get to what... Uh, uh, what we want here. But now remember, in today's world, we hear much about the pollution of the air, the land, and the water. Most environmentalists believe that the solution lies in using technology. Technology, we can use it. But Homo erectus technocratus is not going to use his technology. This dummy... Just imagine, employment is a big problem in, in the Western world today, right? Unemployment. But they gon' greed makes them make robots that makes the need of the human being instinct, extinct. Artificial intelligence, all of that. Well, we won't need the human being. Now, this is old dumb human being. He'll knock himself out. Because he keep on working on these robots another three, four years, learning robots. You know, they did an experiment with one of these modern uh, artificial intelligence. So he had him play the great chess player. And uh, the artificial intelligence robot lost the first game only. Because he programmed to learn. So now how long it takes me and you to learn and how long do it take him to learn? 
And whatever he's programmed with, which would be most of the things people know, he learned how to beat the, the guy in chess from then on. He never lost after that. Because he can get all, he knows all of the possibilities, all right in his little gadget up there, right? So the human being, yeah, is making this artificial intelligence creature that just uh, in a few years, the creature will say, oh, shoot, we don't need this guy. We can have a real beautiful earth. All the other animals work together, right? They work together, they eat each other, they die, they do all of that. It's only the human being, the ones that made us. Let's get rid of him, right? And the human being is not as fast, is not as sharp as the artificial intelligence they have now. Just imagine in 10 years and 20 years and da 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 da. Everybody now can do everything that they used to do, take 10 years to do on their little phone. You know, I almost feel guilty because if I want to look up climate change, all I got to do is type climate change in the thing. And I can get 40 articles or 50 good articles. I don't even have to go to the library no more. You know, as you know, as a so-called teacher, you got to go down and go to the library all the time and check out your books, and right? You don't have to go to no library anymore. They got encyclopedia. They got all of that online, right? You don't have to go out of your house anymore. No. That human being, that technology will not reform itself. That's where we get to what our job is. Name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. It is he who taught Quran. He has created man. He has taught him speech and intelligence. The sun and the moons uh, follow courses exactly computed. And the herbs and the trees both alike bow in adoration. And the firmament has he raised high, and he has set up the balance of justice in order that you may not transgress due balance. That's what Allah is saying, and the Quran gave it to us 14 year, 1,400 years ago. I'll just read a little more. So establish weight and justice and fall not short of the mat in the balance. It is he who has spread out the earth for his creatures. Diane is fruit and date palms, uh, producing spats and closed and dates. Also corn and its leaves and stalk for fodder and sweet smelling plants. Then which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? So Allah is telling us in Quran 14, hundred years ago that he has created all of this and he made the sun, moon, and stars to compute the time. And it used the word computed. Now, this translation of Quran was Yusuf Ali, 1937. You know, but the language, everything is set up on the rotation of the earth and the seasons right and all of that and Allah gave that to us to compute the time and to get ready for Hajj right and to know when to plant and all of those types of things okay but down here it says and the firmament he has raised high and he has set up the balance of justice Mizan wasn't in order that you may not transgress due balance. Uh, you know, tagut means to over, a stream that overflows, taga, tagut means like Pharaoh. He exceeded, he became excessive. Now the question is, have the human being exceeded the limits? Has he become excessive today? Okay. 
Allah has promised to those among you who believe and work righteous deeds that he will of a surety grant them in the land inheritance of power as he granted it to those before them, that he will establish in authority their religion, the one which he has chosen for them, and that he will change their state after the fear in which they live to one of security and peace. They will worship me alone and not associate aught with me. If any do reject faith after this, they are rebellious and wicked. It just goes on to say, so establish regular prayer, give regular charity, obey the messenger that you may receive mercy. Never think that the unbelievers are going to frustrate Allah's plan on earth. They are bold as the fire and it is indeed an evil refuge. That means inheritance of power from Khalifa. Istaklifa, again, the words that are used here in Arabic, means uh, caliphate, to establish in authority. Right? One's going to give us power and the authority and to establish peace and justice. That's saying that our mission is at these times that Allah is going to reestablish us in a situation where we will have the power, the authority to, as his Khalifa, the one that came after the... Allah made Adam the Khalifa, all humanity. Then there's Khalifs of the Prophet. That's why they used to call Abu Bakr Khalifa al Rasul. You're the vicegerent of Rasulullah, of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. In other words, so in another ayat, when it talks about that Allah is going to create uh, this human being. Uh, in, in the earth and we'll place him in the earth and they say this is the angels are saying you're going to put in a guy that can make mischief and shed blood in the earth and Allah tells them I know what you know but I know what you know not in other words I know when I give this guy power and authority in the land he's going to get out of hand He's going to act up. But I also put in something with him, with this authority, right? The ability to do good. And he can do more good. Does anybody remember the, uh, the hadith on the learned and the ignorant? The ignorant, uh, uh, the, the wrong of the ignorant one is subservient to the right that a good man do. See, uh, not put it this way. A, a person is really ignorant can do just regional, local wrong. But a person that have knowledge can do very serious wrong. Right? But a person that have knowledge also can do unlimited good and unlimited right. This is what the, the Quran is telling us. And never think that the unbelievers are going to frustrate Allah's plan on earth. They are bold as the fire and is it indeed an evil refuge. So we have the gift, we have the authority, we've been given language, everything that we've went over. We've been given the language We've been given the ability, right, to re-regulate the world in which we're living, to change the world, or remake the world, or readjust the world, or revert the world. All of those words, reconstruct, rebuild, reorganize, we can do it because Allah gave us that ability that if we could mess it up, we could clean it up. But the only problem is you and I. When I say you and I, I mean the human being. 
the only problem in fixing the earth is the human being's inability to even want to fix it. They got crackpots denying, you know, oil spills, denying. Uh, they got permafrost. See, they got so much stuff. We got to get busy in a hurry because this boy is crazy. It don't take no genius to look at the world we're living in right now. Trump just uh, talking about criminals. He just let 26 of his criminal friends. They are real technical criminals. He ain't gave nobody in the federal penitentiary this there by mistake. And they done did a lot of time. He ain't let none of them go. He just let his homeboys go. And the earth, hey man, this thing has degenerated so much that it could go beyond, uh, it's like on a voyage, you go on a ship, you can go out so far. If it's 3,000 miles to Europe, if you go out 1,000 miles on a voyage, you can turn around and come back. But if you go 1,500 miles, that's halfway there, there's no sense of coming back. You just keep going, no matter what the problem is, right? Because you're beyond the point of no return. After you get 1,501 miles, right, and it's three miles to go, you might as well keep going, right? Imagine inertia, a car is going. When I was a kid, people have babies in the car. When everybody hit the brakes, they would hold out their hand for the little kid. They would automatically do it, just hold out their hand. Because the inertia, the little kid keep going and bam, all into the windshield, right from inside, right? So we talk about inertia all the time. Uh, when, a, when the police is waiting for a speeder, they wait at the bottom of the hill out on the highway. I go to California and back all the time, all the time. The police is always waiting at the bottom of the hill, never waiting at the top. Why? Because nobody's speeding at the top. When they're going downhill, they're going to pick up and up, and he, there he is. He's going to get them all the time. It's the weight. It's the inertia. It's the motion. As these things develop in our society, say, like the climate, we have to fix it because we don't know how far in the climate the point of no return is, you see what I mean? Before the earth is so degraded, so destabilized, so deharmonized, right? That you can't get it back. But remember what Allah is saying, so we got hope right here. Those people are not gonna change Allah's plan. They're not going to destroy Allah's creation. Allah's creation will be here till Allah wanted to go. They say it's nine billion years. It's been here for uh, 4.5 billion years or something like that. And it's got another 4.5 to go. Well, that's a long time for us. So we're technically not concerned with uh, trillions, billions of years from now. Why? Because the earth, if the human being just keep messing up, the earth going to shake the human being off. Going to boil him, going to roast him, because the earth is a living organism. You see all the things that's going on in the world today? In Santa Rosa, they just had a fire two, three years ago. It just burned the whole city down. Up in Reading, anybody here to the car fire? The car fire had tornadoes within a fire. You know, the more wind you get in a fire, the more it, can you imagine? The, the modern fires, the reason they're burning up so much of California? I saw the governor of California on TV, he was almost crying. He said, man, this is just too much to take. This was just this year. But they've been getting year after year. The fires are getting worse and worse. In Louisiana, they just had five 